Hello guys, it's Cassidy again, and we're back with our Fit Friday video of the week. And last week we had our upper body workout, and this week we're going to actually not do a workout, but we're going to focus on some like yoga and stretching exercises. So these are things that would be good to do when our muscles are tight or sore, or uh, I know a lot of people like to do some yoga after they've had a long day and just want to stretch, or just want to unwind and de-stress for the day. So let's get started with our workout. We don't have to do any stretching beforehand this week because it is a stretching workout. So we're gonna start off simple and then kind of build on our exercises until they get a little bit tougher. If there's any ever any exercise that you, or pose that you don't feel comfortable doing or it's too hard for you, you can um, skip this one and wait till the next one or you can try and modify it. I'll try to give some modifications along the way. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first one we're gonna do is gonna be really simple. And this pose is called the mountain pose. So basically, we're just gonna stand up tall. We're just gonna try and relax our arms, our back, our neck. We're gonna standing and we're gonna stand really relaxed. And we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds once I get my timer started. All right, so we're just standing and relaxing our arms, keeping our neck relaxed. Um, if our arms feel tense, you can do a couple, couple shoulder rolls, get everything loosened up, and then we're just gonna stand in the pose for a while. be our easiest pose and we're going to work up from here. Good job. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do what's called a downward dog. So for this one, basically just we can start like this on the ground on our hands and our knees, and then we're gonna push up into this position. So you might feel a stretch on the back of your legs. Um, we're gonna try and keep our legs straight if possible. Um, and we're just gonna basically pose like this until I say stop, or until it becomes too hard for you guys and you need a break. Um, once I get my timer started, I'll try and do this one then for 45 seconds. Just like this. Make sure you guys are breathing in these poses. I know sometimes I like to hold my breath. Um, you can look down at the ground and that will make it a little bit better. Focus on your breathing. Remember in through your nose. and out through your mouth. Kind of like you're smelling a flower and then blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. Good job, that's 45 seconds. You can go back on your hands and your knees again. And then the next pose we're gonna try is, um, I don't remember the name for this one, but we're kind of gonna rock back and like put our bottom on the end of our heels and we're going to stretch out those arms and move them as far out as you can in front of you. So we're like this and then just reaching out in front of us and you can relax your head in between your arms like that. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see a little bit better. And we're going to do this one for 45 seconds again. All right, so we're just like this. While you guys are doing this, you might feel a stretch along your back, um, maybe even in your legs a little bit, in your shoulders if you're reaching out far enough, and then in your neck if you're tucking it in between your hands, or in between your shoulders, I should say.
Remember to keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Good job. We can pause for a second. Good job on that exercise. So the next thing we're going to do from this position is we're going to push up into a plank. So this is kind of going to be a little bit of a workout and a yoga pose. So when we're doing this plank, we want to make sure we keep our belly muscles and our back muscles tight. We don't want to be arching our back like this. We don't want our butt up like this. We want our arms right under our shoulders and um, we'll be on our toes in a plank position like this. So my legs are straight. It's kind of hard to see with my pants. And my back is flat like there's a book on top of it. Okay, so let's do our plank now. We're going to do this one for a shorter time just because it kind of is a workout. Um, we're going to try this one for 20 seconds, okay? All right, ready, go. And if it's too hard, you can come down for a second. But make sure you're keeping that back flat and those arms underneath of your shoulders. Good job, guys. We're already halfway there. Try it for another, uh, let's see, five seconds, okay? Good job. And that's it for that one. So we can stay down on our hands and our knees. And the next pose we're going to do is what's called our cobra pose. So we're going to kind of walk our hands and our legs out away from each other. And we're going to arch our back like this. So like you can kind of start here and push up with your hands. Basically, you want to feel that stretch in that lower back area. Um, you can look up at the sky, you know, that helps me and helps that stretch my back more. I really like the stretch a lot because I have um, lower back pain sometimes. So that'll be good for any of you people with lower back pain like myself. So we're going to do this pose for another 45 seconds. And if it's too hard, you can stop doing the pose for a second and then try and come back to doing it again if you can. Remember to keep breathing. Another 10 seconds. Good job. You just walk your hands back up, your knees back up. And then the next pose that we're going to do is going to be, we can do, it's called, they're called like cat cows. It's kind of two different poses. So for the cat, you kind of, you know how cats run around and sometimes they arch their back up like that when they are, they have a lot of energy and they go to run. So for the cat pose, you're going to be on your hands and knees, your um, hands under your shoulders, your knees right under your hips. So like 90 degree angles with your knees. And then you're just going to arch your back up. Um, my shirt's kind of, kind of baggy, but so you're going to arch your back up like that. So basically you're going to try and push your spine up towards the ceiling. So instead of flat, up towards the ceiling like that. Um, you can kind of think of it as in sucking in your belly too, like, like that. And we're going to do that one for 45 seconds. Okay, so suck in your belly and pull your spine up towards the ceiling like that. You can let your head hang down. That might help you relax. Take a pause if it gets too hard. Kind of just go back into it when you need. For this one, let's take a couple pauses actually. So go to your flat back and then pull it up. Flat back, pull it up. Flat back, spine up. We'll do one more. Flat back, spine up. Good job. 
So the next part of that exercise kind of is the cow. So it's the cat cow. Um, so for this one, instead of pulling your spine up, you're actually going to let it arch. So you want like a curve in your spine. So you want to kind of push your belly downward this time. So you're going to sit like this. All right, and we're going to do that for 45 seconds. And again, like the last one, we can go in and out of it. So we can start with our flat back, push your belly down, flat back, push your belly down, flat back, push your belly down. Good job. We'll go back to flat back, push your belly down. Flat back, belly down, flat back, belly down, and flat back. Good. So those are the two exercises that normally go together. We can try putting them together for, we'll try 20 seconds. So basically, um, you're going to go in that cat, that like, spine to the ceiling and then the cow like arching your back so you go this way and then this way we're gonna try that for 15 seconds okay so spine to the ceiling belly down spine to the ceiling belly down spine to the ceiling belly down good job so those were our cat cows. We did our cobra pose. So the next one we're gonna do is, that this one's gonna be a little bit harder. So we can stick to our hands and our knees. Um, if you can do this one, that's great. If it's too hard, um, you could pause the video um, or you can wait until one of our last poses. So for this one, we're gonna actually put our knee, we're gonna like, Put our foot out flat on the ground in between our hands so they're kind of all in one line and then our back knee is like that until we push up into the pose so my shoulders my front leg are all in one line and then we're going to push up into a low lunge so you'll be on the ball of that back foot like on your toes like this this is what's called a low lunge. This one's a little bit harder, so we're going to try it for 15 seconds. You can try and get in that position now, and then I'll start the timer, because it might take a second. Okay, so you should be up like this and holding. So on the base of that foot right here, like that, and you should feel a stretch in your hips. There we go. So I lied, we're doing it for 20 actually. Good job. Now we're gonna switch, we're gonna put the front leg back on the ground and we're gonna put the other leg in between our hands. Remember, this is all, your shoulders and your front leg are all on a line and you're on this part of your foot in the back. So we can push up and you'll feel that stretch in this hip area again. This is what's called our low lunge. Good job, what was done? Good job. That was our low lunge. And we're going to do one more hard one and then we'll get a good back stretching again. So this one is called our warrior pose. I'm going to fix my camera real quick. So with this one, it's kind of like when we do our lunges, but we're not moving the whole time. So we're going to step out with one foot. So we should be wider than shoulder width. We're going to take their back knee and we're going to kind of push it towards the floor a little bit. And our front leg should be bent as well. So we should look like this. This is our warrior pose. And we can kind of actually, right, we're going to keep that back leg straight like this. So straight back leg, leaning forward on the front leg. Be careful with your balance. 
reach up like this. You can reach back if we're able to do that. This one's kind of hard. So pause if you need to. We're going to try this one again for 15 seconds. All right. Good job. This, if you're leaning back like I am, you're going to open up your chest and back area for a stretch. Good job. And now we're going to try the other leg. So front leg forward, back leg straight, lean forward a little bit, arms up, and lean back. Good job. This one's really hard. So if you guys are doing it, great job. If you aren't able to do it, that's okay because it's hard for me to even do. Okay, we need to take a pause. Whew, grab some water if you need to. I know I'm a little blended. And then we are going to do one more um, quick pose and stretch for the day. So we are actually going to sit with our feet out in front of us. this. We're going to take one leg, cross it over our other leg. We're going to take our elbow, put it on our knee, and we're going to turn. So you should feel that stretch in your lower back right here. So you're just using your um, knee as like a stabilizer and something to apply pressure to your back so you can turn. You feel that stretch all the way through your back. Job. Back to center. We'll cross our other leg over. Put your elbow on the inside of your knee and use it to push against so you can rotate your back like that. All right. Good job, guys. That is all I have for you today. That was our yoga session of Fit Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys again next week. Thanks for joining.